Hey guys, welcome to Young and Proud Educators, where we speak everything education. Guys, we continue with our online teaching reflections, online teaching diaries. We never stop because we're still doing it. As we do it, we speak about it. We reflect as we are on it, guys. So in this video, guys, I'm going to speak about um, taking care of ourselves. As I've mentioned in the previous video that, you know what, um, VLE, online teaching, virtual teaching, computer-based teaching, internet teaching, whatever you call it. It's really taking a lot from us teachers. Check the video where I explain, I think in the second week where I explained that, you know what, when I get back home, I'm extremely tired, I'm exhausted. I can't do a thing. But you know, we teachers, if a teacher is not, is not well, it means, um, 20, 25, 30, 40 students who are depending on that teacher, they will be affected. Therefore, we as teachers, I know we're not superheroes, but we need to take care of ourselves. We need to take care of our minds. We need to take care of our bodies. We need to take care of our hearts. If we don't, then we cannot give our hearts to our lovely students. We cannot help um, think. We cannot collaborate. We cannot... Um, um, work together with the students because we'll be exhausted. So we need to be always fresh. We need to be always on top of things. So I'm going to give you guys ideas on how to take care of self. Number one, guys, we need to sleep. I know as we work online, we are so anxious what is going to happen next. And sometimes we can't sleep. Please, guys, recommended hours eat. It's eight hours sleep. They say it's fine. I, I will say, because now we're working on a different platform, go 10 hours. Like, rest, sleep. You need it. Then when you wake up, you will be fresh. So sleep more hours. I know there's a lot to do. There's plenty to do. But sometimes just take it out. If you can't do it during the week, then weekend is for your sleeping. Saturday, if you have to go to the funerals, you have to go to the community, whatever, 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 just excuse yourself once, twice a month. You're not going to hurt anybody. You are not going to hurt anybody. And sleep. Two, guys, we need to be drinking a lot of water. Water is so great for us. Water is so great for our bodies. Our bodies are full of water, made up out of water. So as much as we consume water, then we get to... Uh, uh, refresh, rejuvenate our bodies and our system, then we're becoming fresh again and our bodies continues the way it should be continued. That's what we need to be doing. Drink water. If you live around um, natural water, where you can get natural water, maybe your spring water, get that. That's life. That's more powerful. That's life. If you can um, get your purified water, your reverse osmosis water, it's more clean. Tap water, it's a lot of poison in there, so don't take a lot of it. But if that you have, have it. Second one, guys, let's get to the habit of exercising. Exercising doesn't, I, I don't mean go start your, <laughs> your gym membership at Virgin Active or whatever gym club. Do not do that. But just take it easy. As long as your body like you do the moves, um, you can do it in, in your house, in your backyard, back, backyard. Just stretch. A day, please stretch. Or maybe walk from the other corner to the other corner. Or walk around your yard. Walk around your yard, um, clean, picking up leaves and, and whatever, whatever around your yard in your garden. That's still exercise. So just, just get active. Just get moving. So that's one of the things that you can do. And the other thing is, for those of you guys that are living close, close to the ocean, ocean is healing. Ocean is sauna on its own. You don't have to go inside to get that healing. You just stand outside by the beach, put on your sunglasses, sit right there, and, and as those waves come, they come with that powerful breeze that breeze and uh, and when it gets to your body already it's nature nature to nature connects and they do beautiful things then it gets to heal your body you get to relax like it's different atmosphere when you when you're at the beach so you do that and again um there's always um water particles water particles they come with um sea 
um, salt, sea salt, sea salt, sea salt is the best. It's best for your skin, it's best for your body, it's best for any part of your body. So have that even when you do your eating. Eat, cook using um, sea salt. And for those of you that do not have, maybe you have um, a pool, just jump, dive in your pool and, and just relax there. Water is healing. Water is healing. Just dive in there. If you're saying, you know what, I do not have a pool where I live, Guys, there are a lot of things to do. You've got a bathtub. Jump in, fill it up, and then just in there, soak yourself, put in some, some, some nice, nice things there, some herbs, um, some lavender, some, some beautiful herbs. Your eucalyptus, put it there. It's good for your skin. Just get in there and then refresh yourself. If you can't do that, then just sit by the shower and then let it mess you up. So there's a whole lot of things that you can do. And the next one, guys, to take out of ourselves, we need to continue eating the right food. We need to continue eating healthy food. We need to continue doing that. This, I cannot stress it um, much because everybody's speaking about it. The guys, um, the doctors, the health people, they're speaking about it. Eat good food. That's good for your body. Remember, the food that you eat, it nourishes it boost, boost your body. So once your body is boosted, then you are ready to run day and night and do whatever you need to be doing. So guys, that's how we can take care of ourselves and, and just take it off. Take time off. Time off everything. Like time off the family. You know, like family. Sometimes it's good to have family. It's good to be around family. It's good to go to the family and have conversation with them. But sometimes you're so overwhelmed that you need to be on your own. You need me time. Have a lot of me time. Take time off. Shut down. Shut down and just be on yourself. If you need to run away from the dining room or sitting room or wherever and you have to run to the, um, to the bedroom, lock yourself in there and just be dead quiet. Dead quiet and do nothing. So those are a whole lot of ways. I know I'm, I maybe I haven't touched... Um, 50-90% of it, but those are the basics just to get started, just to keep keep at it, keep healthy, keep strong. Your immune system should keep you going. And before we know it, it's going, we're going to be going for um term one is going to be over, or the year will be over, or or COVID will be gone. Guys, continue taking care of yourselves and peace. We'll see you in the next video. Please right here at the bottom hit on subscribe just tell us guys on the comment section tell us how are you taking care of yourself as a teacher as a hard working teacher how are you taking care of yourself let's share ideas let's learn from one um, one another for now guys peace